tuned back into the idiot box. Previously, we were going... Well, we got stuck in what were apparently lands that were conquered by the Serpent Riders, and now we've gotten ourselves into the very stronghold of our enemy, also known as the Stagnant Domain, also known as really, really big trouble, especially on this difficulty. <clears throat> now, whereas the previous Expansion Pack episode kind of started off hard, then got easy um, for a little while, and then it went back to hard, this one starts hard and stays that way. So, yeah. And this first level, by the way, is called the Ochre, Cri uh, Ochre Cliffs. Oh, jeez. Ow. Whoa. That's the primary reason this level is difficult. Because of those nitro golems at the start. Fire gargoyles definitely don't help. But I have been playing a lot of um, Valiant, which is actually a pretty difficult map pack for Doom recently, so... Whoops. <laughs> I was about to say, I think, I think my ultimate skill is ready to be used. It's not saying much, especially considering how much ammo I just wasted, but yeah, and I'm probably going to end up paying for that mistake pretty soon. <laughs> See, our main goal is at the top of this, uh, rocky stair. Ah! But of course we have to go through a lot of crap in order to get that stair raised. Ah! Freaking Nitro Golems, I, I had enough of you in the previous level. You know, I'm pretty sure that this one level has every enemy type in the game, aside from the Sparrow, of course. I mean, there's normal golems, nitro golems, normal gargoyles, fire gargoyles, undead knights, and I'm pretty sure there's specter knights, too. Um... I think there's Ophidians. I know there are Disciples. I know there are Iron Liches. I'm pretty sure there are were dragons in this level too. Crap. Crap. Crap, 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 Dead. crap, crap, dead. Yeah. Okay, that was quite a setback. Hopefully this means I'll have an opportunity to not waste all that ammo. Staying out in the open is apparently a very bad idea. Yet I'm doing it anyway. Also, flipping Java update now of all times? Hopefully it didn't pop up too bad. <laughs> Could you not? The friggin' axes. Covered in acid, I assume. Okay. Man, 
there are a lot of snipers in this very first section of this level. I'm hoping I won't be put into a rage in this level, unlike the previous. I'm also, I also want to point out, I'm surprised I haven't gotten any complaints about my uh, microphone quality. Because, <laughs> well, I'll be honest, I, of course I watch my videos after recording them, mostly for editing and stuff, and I've noticed that my voice quality in these videos is really, really crummy. Okay, nope, nope, nope. Okay, let's see if we can get out of here. How did he die? <laughs> I shot him once, it didn't kill him, and then he died a second later. What the heck? Well, whatever. No, 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 no. No need to help menu, I'm just gonna save. Yeah, I've been through um, even more technical issues as of late involving this uh, GC Doom engine. Also, I'm thinking Shadow Sphere time. What? What? Are you serious? Not now. I'm recording. <sighs> okay, well, the more you know about this trap... I think I may just cut past some of this. Dip. Mm. Whoa. Okay. Bring it on. Maybe I should have used this wall in that room. At least it gave me a bag of holding pretty early. I got a bone to pick with these guys. Haha! -ha! Got you right where you're most vulnerable. That's short range. Yeah, because of the long buildup for their attack. These things can be pretty deadly at longer range, but once you get them within cross-bolting range, they're much easier to dispose of. Also, I'm not sure when I'm going to use that tome, but I'm probably going to use it. And I don't remember there being a fire mace here. Okay, you need, you should have knocked that crap off when you had the chance. <laughs> really? With that nonsense again? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, right. The ghost maze. I call it the ghost maze because all the mummies wandering it are ghosts. And I always forget that when I step in. Do 
least it gave me a pretty good ghost busting tool. I also did a little bit of, um, well, like I said, I've been involved in even more tech issues as of late because of, uh, a new release of the GZ Doom engine, which apparently merges GZ Doom and something called QZ Doom, which apparently is an experimental engine with much crummier sound playback and less mod compatibility. So I had to go through this whole bogus process of getting the new GZ Dimension, figuring out it really doesn't work well for my purposes. No, I need to hang on to that, I think. Trying to fix the sound problems with the new GZ Dimension on my own, failing miserably. And then jumping through hoops, um, trying to get the new one downloaded and reinstalled. And then figuring out that somehow getting the newer version and then uninstalling it had somehow scrambled the sound playback devices, so I had to figure out what the new one was amongst this pile of garbage. It was not fun. But it did allow me to tweak the uh, lighting options. Namely, I turned down the brightness and turned up the gamma correction, so hopefully it's a little easier to see. Hmm. I remember this. God! Sucks for you, I got a full stock of arrows. Seriously? How? How? How has this one not gone away yet? There, good lord. Enough of the tornado nonsense for now. Ah! I was wondering where you'd run off to. Now there's a phoenix rod down there, but if memory serves... Yeah, I can't get it yet. There's another essential secret. What is up with these essential secrets? There's probably like a, a, a lighting thing around this door or something. Hmm, doesn't look like it. Well, either way, it's really hard to distinguish that from... the rest of the normal walls. Go oh, fudge! I forgot about that. Yeah, there are teleporters. So in this little section, there's kind of a bridge across that little lava pit. And there are those little alcoves at the sides through which these undead knights can chuck axes at you. I think there's two on each side. And there's a teleporter, um, there's a teleporter in each alcove, 
which will allow you to get back, but also allows them, these undead knights, to get right up in your face. Okay, the last one hasn't activated yet. Are you gonna stay there, or are you gonna try and go through the teleport? Ah, there we go. I was able to use it against them. Okay, got a hell staff. And I think going into this chamber with the green key, yes, it lowers this. So it lowers that little waterfall, and inside the waterfall is not only more nitro golems, crap, <laughs> but also a phoenix rod, and I'm gonna need that pretty soon. Oh, and there's a greater rune down here too. I'm gonna have to remember this. Let's see, how much... Ah, I've got very little of that, so... Okay, green doors down this way, yeah. <laughs> Just reminding you, I'm right here, fellas. need this egg, I think. I don't remember when I picked this up. Did I take it off of one of those, um, iron liches? Oh, something I should mention about the morpho of them. If you polymorph a ghostly enemy or a disciple in a ghostly state, it turns into a ghostly chicken. <laughs> And another essential secret. What is up with these essential secrets? Well, at least they did give me a chaos device beforehand, which I could have used. Maybe you were supposed to use a chaos device there. Oh, right. Uh, wait. No, on this difficulty, it refills 150, and I gotta stop falling off that edge! <laughs> so... I don't think I need it just yet. But I will soon. Because now we have to get across... <laughs> what? Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna need these. Okay, so I got a ring. Oh, and I can... I'm not sure how well this is going to work. Yeah, this is why I was worried about those friggin' tornadoes. As you can see, there's a Molotov on one side and three Iron Liches on the other. There we go.
No. Okay, seems like that took out the Iron Witches very effectively. And I got another tome somehow. Wow, usually I have a ridiculous amount of trouble with this section. They like, chase me out and I have to... I have to lure that Molotar in, th in through the teleporter and outside and duke it out with them there, and it cost me a ton of ammo to do that. This worked out really well. And I didn't lose... I barely lost any armor. Okay, Cliff's finished. Now entering the rapids.